Hey y'all, I know I'm walking, so it's a lot unstable, but oh, I just wanted to show you this tree. Oh, I just ruined my shoes, but I'm absolutely gonna miss this. Like, oh, the beauty of the UK. Today, taking some pictures for my dad, and look at this. I haven't been to this park in years, but it's an absolutely beautiful park. It's Cold Castle Park. Yeah, springtime in the UK, man. One of my favorites. A lot of people probably like it's the UK what are you gonna miss I'm gonna miss it I said what I said just finished taking some pictures with my dad for his birthday I'm gonna do a little photo shoot which rightfully so he deserves it so yeah I'm gonna put this down now because my my arm's heavy <laughs> Bye. <laughs> But who said? Who said? You can't have more. Go to the kids section. I'm not about that one. Oh, I like this one. It's cute. I'm looking for a different bra in one of my try on haul so if you haven't seen it guys go back and see it i can't remember which one it was but um i was a bit conflicted because the bra that i had on which is the one i have on now is quite like ruffled it's just like this ruffled like this and when you have on a thin shirt you can see it and i really don't like when you can see bras especially i don't wish for you to see my bra so i'm looking for something basic just that's nice and smooth like this but i'm not seeing i was just about to say i'm not seeing my size and it's right here hopefully it fits me so this is a lot smoother and here's my daddy boo did you want me to pick up anything
Okay, you got eggs? You know what I've never done? I've never gotten. See the way my hips and thighs are set up, honey. We can't just do anything. That's what we can do in this thing called life. Is anything. All right, guys, let us go. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Little, little crop top situation. Oh, not it coming with a skirt. Stay focused. She just bought a whole bunch of clothes. All right, guys, let us do some grocery shopping, shall we? I want to make spinach and artichoke dip tonight. Um, so I guess I will find myself doing that. Um, yeah, so let's go buy some of the ingredients, shall we? All right, guys, so if I try to put the, my phone on the cart, but it's a little bit too shaky. So first item we're getting is some tomatoes. <laughs> Look at the price of those tomatoes. I honestly can't believe I'm about to move back to very expensive Bermuda. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, another thing, I do like to put a little bit of parsley. Just a little bit. And I definitely love my fresh, fresh herbs. So we got some parsley. I have plenty of garlic. We have onions at home. Mm, of course, I picked up some broccoli because I have to pick up broccoli every single time I come to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Sorry. tomatoes and artichoke should be in the same place am i blind well we already know i am blind but yep i'm blind we can do one thing of artichoke so They have a vegan cheese. Oh my god. Look, they make vegan cheese now. Wow. I wouldn't be getting it, but wow. Actually, I want to make a Caesar salad. Oh, that was so smooth. So I'm going to get some Parmesan. And I need some cheese. Take a small red stir, and we're gonna shred it. Is there a mean and a side? Oh, you think it's like a um, like a meal deal? That's what I'm thinking. But what good is with it? Dying in for. There must be a, another something. A main. Yeah. yeah. Do they have any um, bean curds? <gasps> they have bean curds. This can't do with my omelette. This can't do with my omelette. Yeah, I know. Y'all heard that little, I'm going to have some of your artichoke dip. Did you hear that? That is my dad's classic maneuver of I'm about to have my dinner and yours as well. <laughs>
there is one thing that I know for sure is going to happen is that my dad's going to make his salad. He's going to have a little piece of salmon on the side with some of his olives and tomatoes and feta cheese and everything. But you best believe he's going to stick his head around if he's in the kitchen at the same time as me to see what I'm cooking up. And then when I'm going, you just go to hear these little nibbles. <laughs> you just going to hear them nibbling. Like, Mr. Mister Sir. Mr. Sir. I was about to say his name, but this is the internet. And we just... Mm -mm. Daddy, can I please have some leftovers? Sometimes I would like to put something in a Tupperware container. And to just know that it's all mine. It's all mine. But you know what? That's fine. It's probably payback from when I was a kid. You know, as kids, you eat all your parents' food and everything. Is that right? But you know what? I'm gonna miss these moments for sure. Plant based section, honey. I'm gonna miss you. I'm actually gonna pick one of you up because I haven't had these in a very long time. These are so good. Oh, they are so good. I am gonna get two, but then that's me just being greedy. Because I am leaving on Saturday, and that means. I would feel pressured to eat all of them before I leave. Now that I'm leaving, my mind is very geared towards, ooh, let's get, let's get certain things uh, before I leave. Like, you know, um, and I'm realizing that it hit me a couple of days ago that that's where my brain is kind of, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the big one of these. These are absolutely delicious. But I don't see it. Oh, mushrooms. We're going to get some of these. There's a leak in this old building. Am I so? Ooh. Ooh, my soul. Packed away. I'm about to make my spinach dip. I used to make it without real cheese, but you know, as a flax of vegan, when I feel like eating cheese, I eat cheese. When I don't want to eat cheese, I'll make it the vegan way. But today, we're gonna make it with real cheese. So I'm not really gonna do like a talk you through how I make it. If anybody ends up watching this and you are interested in the recipe, let me know and maybe I can do another one but it is two minutes to seven usually my dad and i would have eaten like an hour and a half ago sometimes by five so i'm gonna do this very quickly so that i can hurry up and digest my food before i go to sleep so let's make some spinach and i've choked it so you know how i said that i wasn't gonna talk through this i was kind of just gonna 
get on with making it, do what I gotta do. So that's exactly what I did. I put on a show and it must have been a darn good show because honey, let me tell you something. This has easily turned into what not to do when making spinach and artichoke dip because I don't know where my brain was. I don't know what show I was watching, what cloud I must have been floating on at the time, but this is not how I make my dip. So I needed to come here on this little voiceover and redeem myself. <laughs> to just tell y'all that this did not go the way that it was supposed to but please note it still tastes amazing so this is my first mistake you see that word down the bottom where it says smoked i do not like anything smoked so here i am picking up paprika thinking it's just paprika because i don't be reading stuff properly if it looks close to what i am looking for i will pick it up and put it in the cart and then end up finding out later that's not what i need Trust me, I've done it with cayenne pepper too. Wasn't pleasant. Now, here is my second mistake. Y'all see this? Why am I putting this cheese in this pot as if I'm making a pasta sauce? Someone please call 911. Guys, guys, this is not making sense to me. At this moment, that's when I knew I messed up. And now this is error number three. Where we're going with putting this spinach in the, um, in the in frying pan, y'all. Why haven't I caught the spinach? Oh, Jesus, have mercy upon my soul. I really should have used my food processor for this um, recipe because the spinach was a little too big for me. The artichokes, they were a little too thick. I could have caught up the tomatoes a little bit more. Guys, basically, next time, if you end up making spinach and artichoke dip, don't follow what I did. But I laugh it in her. <laughs> Anyway, because <laughs> it still tasted out. Well. Oh, and now this is me trying to put a little extra cheese on it. This is really what I was supposed to do. Put all of the, saute the onions and the garlic and stuff, and then just mix everything in a bowl and then throw it in the oven. Not all this extra making half of a pasta sauce and making it all creamy and no. You cook it in the oven. Give yourself less work. But anyway, let's move on to this Caesar salad because, baby, let me tell you something. One thing about me, I love a Caesar salad, okay? If there's any salad that you will never have to beg me to have, it is a Caesar salad. And I know they say, ooh, the Caesar salad is the most unhealthy on the, on the list of salads. Mind your business. Mind your business. Look at this avocado, y'all. Mmm. Just perfection. You gotta save that moment. Oh, sorry about that. That should have been cut out. But it ain't. So it's gonna have to stay. Because <laughs> at this point, I'm tired. Y'all, if y'all only knew how many times I've had to edit this video alone. Okay, I'm going on a tangent. Even though my daddy's chicken's coming up and it's looking good, I'm going on this tangent. Having my laptop break and still trying to be consistent on YouTube with these videos, guys, it's difficult. But I'm her and I'm loving it. All right, y'all, the spinach dip is done. I have actually already eaten. We already ate our salad. <laughs> I just couldn't. I couldn't wait. So, yeah. I'm going to take a couple crackers with some of the dip, but... For the most part, I'm good for the night. Plus, it's like around 8 o'clock, and I do wish to go to sleep quite early tonight, so I want to make sure that my body has done what it needs to do with its digestion so that all of my energy can go towards getting a whole beautiful, wonderful night's rest and all of that REM stuff. So, yeah, I will see you tomorrow.